Hi, welcome to Reese Auxiliaries. Today we're going to show you how to make an easy version of a full-size bus resort prop. We'll show you the tools to use and the materials you need to create one of the most famous swords in the history of gaming. Here are the tools we recommend having available. Scissors, X-Acto knife, a coarse file, sandpaper, a tape measure or ruler, smooth paint roller and brush, hacksaw, and a drill with a hole saw attachment. The materials we'll use to make our buster sword are polystyrene insulation sheets. This stuff comes in 4x8 sheets and is about half an inch thick. It should look just like this with this clear backing. We had to call around to a few Home Depots to find it. You'll just need one sheet and it costs about 15 bucks. Ask the store to cut it into 10 inch strips, otherwise you'll have to cut it with a saw or a razor. Gorilla Glue you're going to need about 4 ounces. Make sure you don't use super glue because it eats away at the foam. Craft foam sheets. Get two sheets of the thin stuff. It's about an eighth of an inch thick and one sheet of about one quarter inch thickness. A foot and a half of one inch pipe. Two or three quarter inch by one and a half inch bolts. A quart of metallic silver paint. Most spray paint will eat away at the foam so get a can like this and gold acrylic paint. Go ahead and strip the clear backing off the polystyrene. Okay. Now we're going to cut the diagonal tip of the blade. The sword is 5 feet long, so measure out 5 feet along one edge, measure out 4 feet along the other edge, and draw a line connecting the points. Cut along the line using your X-Acto knife. The sword will be three sheets thick, so repeat the cut for two more sheets. Flip one of the sheets before cutting so that the branding isn't showing on the outside. The next step is to glue the three sheets together. You want to apply a thin film of glue on a clean surface. You can use an extra piece of polystyrene to spread the glue. Once your sheets are glued, let them dry for 24 hours. Applying pressure during the drying period produces a slightly better result. Alright, after 24 hours our glue is dry and we're ready to form the blade's edge. Use a coarse file to grind the corners off. You want to end up with about 3 inches of slope. Grind until you reach the middle of the center sheet, then to the other side. Leave 5.5 to 6 inches unfiled for the hilt. Once you're done with the file, use sandpaper to make it all smooth. The next thing to do is to cut out the hilt pieces from the craft foam using scissors. We have a link to the piece dimensions in the video comments. We need to add a handle to our sword. Use something long and sharp to dig a hole 5 inches into the foam. Then insert the handle. We want to make sure our handle is secure enough to support the weight of the sword. Some quarter inch bolts through the pipe will do the trick. Mark out points on the foam over the handle and drill a small pilot hole to mark the pipe. Remove the pipe and drill holes big enough for the bolts to fit through. Pour a good amount of glue into the handle hole and insert the pipe. Pour some more glue into the bolt holes and insert the bolts through the foam and pipe until they are flush with the surface. Now it's time to glue on the hilt pieces.
This is when the materia slots get drilled. Mark out the center of the holes and drill all the way through with a hole saw. They should be far enough up the sword to avoid the pipe used for the handle. Find something to stick on the end of the handle as a pommel. You could use the end of a curtain rod or a PVC pipe fitting. We used a 3D printed part which you can find files for on Thingiverse.com. The last step is to paint it. Paint over everything with silver paint except the handle. Then you can paint the gold accents and the handle which gets a brownish red. If you want to use spray paint, you need to coat the polystyrene first because spray paint will make it shrivel. When you're finished, you should end up with an awesome sword. Thanks for watching Reese Auxiliaries. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about how to make a full-size Buster sword or any other large prop.